Right. So we have come to a point that movement is an important characteristic of life or living things or living organisms and the movements are associated with growth in plants or animals or whatever. Just let us see whether this statement is true or not. It may be true, but we are going to check it whether it is true all the times. Movements are associated with growth. Okay, we will take uh, animal, a small boy, he is growing, year by year he is growing. In the same way, a small seed it is growing to a small plantlet, it is growing to a big plant, so this. So growth, it shows some kind of movement, the height of that uh, body is increased. In animals, it is limited. So here, we cannot conclude that movements are always associated with growth. Why? Because if you see an example like touch-me-not plant, if you see a touch-me-not plant, Mimosa pudica, if you touch the leaves of this plant, the leaves droop, they close down. Here, there is no growth associated with this movement in the plant. Then how can you say that the movements are always associated with growth in plants and animals? We cannot say that. Because in most cases we observe in plants, the movements are associated with growth. That is stems growing towards sunlight. Likewise, by looking at some examples, we assume that the movements are associated with growth in plants and animals, mostly especially in plants. But if you see the example here, touch me not plant. If you touch that, the leaves, they droop. It is not because of any growth. You don't find any growth here, but there is a movement of leaf. So movements are not associated with the growth. Then why the movements are produced and how the movements are produced in living organisms? This is what we are going to discuss in this chapter, control and coordination. If it is a plant or an animal, movements are there. The movements are caused because of what? Are all these movements useful? Do they have any purpose? Do they have any initiation? Let us discuss in the coming session. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.